Greetings, this is Jeff. I'm going to show you how to bring procedural lightning into your Unity scene from scratch. So let's dive right in. The first thing you'll want to do is download the asset from the asset store, which I've already done. That'll create this procedural lightning folder. Inside of that is a prefab folder, so you'll want to start there. Lightning Bolt script does all the magic, so you want to just drag that script to your main camera. And once you've done that, there's just a couple of things you want to set up. Lightning material goes to this little texture here with the blue and white. The, there's another texture for our mesh renderer, which is right next to it. Lightning bolt material mesh. And finally, lightning bolt material mesh with no glow. It's a little more optimized if your lightning doesn't have any glow. Now I've already made a prefab object that's already done this this lightning bolt prefab. So you could, in theory, just drag that into your scene and then add your script to it. But I'm going to just show you how to do this from scratch so that you can see how all the materials are assigned and how they work. There's this lightning origin particle system and lightning glow particle system. You probably don't need to worry about the lightning glow particle system. That's kind of a legacy thing from an earlier version. The lightning origin, however, you can attach your own particle system, so wherever the lightning bolts start, this particle system will get fired off. So if you want to have something happen at the source of your lightning bolts, you can assign your own particle system there. But I'm going to leave that to none for now. Okay, I've got the lightning bolt script, but I don't really have any way to summon a lightning bolt, so in order to do that, I'm going to have to create my own script. I'm thinking whenever the user presses spacebar, we'll create a lightning bolt. So let's create a C sharp script, video demo script. Let's go over to that. And how about we make a function, good coding practices, called call lightning. And then whenever user presses spacebar, we will call lightning. Now that function doesn't do anything yet because I need to go get my lightning bolt script from the demo configure scene. So if you look at this procedural lightning slash demo folder, you'll see demo scene configure. This is kind of the workhorse of your lightning workflow. When you run this scene, you have this kind of designer view for your lightning. You can change the glow intensity, you can change the glow width. You can change how detailed the lightning is with this generation slider. Uh, six is a pretty good number for a balance of performance and appearance. Let's turn down that glow width a little bit. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Five is one of my favorite numbers in three quarters of a second. So now we're going to do five lightning bolts over three quarters of a second. So now as I'm hitting spacebar, we're getting kind of this multi-bolt static discharge effect, which is pretty cool. Some of you may not like it to spread out as much, so if you lower the chaos factor, now you got kind of more normalized lightning, or you can spread it out with a high chaos factor. It's up to you. I'm going to leave that as is right there. Make the trunk width a little bigger. And now I'm pretty happy with that lightning, so I'm going to click this copy button in the bottom right to put the script on my clipboard. Let's go ahead and paste that into call lightning and see what happens. And it's amazing, it actually built. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to press the spacebar, it's going to call call lightning. This right here is going to look at the game object and pull that lightning bolt script off which thankfully was the very first thing we did is to add that to the main camera in our switch back over to video scene. So look at the main camera. We already added lightning bolt script. So now before we run this, we want to put our demo script on so that that keyboard handler runs. And if I've done everything right, we should get a lightning bolt here. Keep your fingers crossed. And we have lightning. It's a miracle. Now you'll notice that this lightning looks the same every time, and that's because our script assigned a seed value. Let's go back to Visual Studio. Here's the seed that I got when I copied my lightning. If you don't like that, 
change this system random here to just be like that and that way you'll get a completely random lightning bolt every time so let's try that see how that looks and it still looks the same so we've obviously done something wrong probably we need to change probably we just need to rebuild and save the script if I had to guess alright let's try that and there we go we have completely random lightning that's one thing that unity doesn't it's not very intuitive if you don't actually save your script to disk it can be kind of confusing when you typed some code and it's not actually running so now you can see we're getting some great random looking lightning paste it in from that designer view it looks exactly the same as it did in that configuration scene uh, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do to get lightning into your scene. Uh, you can go to that script and tweak things like the start location. So now this lightning is going to be a little bit of a diagonal, I think, if I did that right. Oh, I probably didn't save the script. <laughs> See, there's that a little confusing there. So yeah, now we're coming in from the side a little bit. If we make this more extreme and save, <laughs> we can make our lightning be even more diagonal. So now we're coming in from the side a little bit. And you can just play with these numbers. Once you've pasted in your script once, you can kind of just play with it in your scene and tweak these values. Or you can go back to that demo configure scene and repaste the lightning in. It's up to you however you want to work that. Uh, that's pretty much it. The start and end, probably what I would end up doing is making those parameters of this call lightning function so that it's easy to move the lightning around in your game so that whatever events in your game are creating lightning can easily create a lightning bolt between two locations with this call lightning function. So that's about it. I'm very happy to answer your questions. Please email me at jjxtra at gmail.com and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks for your support. Trying to support my family with Unity assets. It's very exciting and scary. So thanks for your time. Enjoy.